Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our Blood and Sand playthrough. Things went a little poorly last time. And I will not lie, I am still quite a bit under the weather, but I wanted to play RimWorld, so here we are. Um, Havoc has all these things that need to happen, all this, this healing. Um, Edgar needs to get on the uh, cooking thing here. We have things to do in terms of cooking um, and feeding our people. We have prisoners that are um, malnourished. Edgar is having a break. Everybody is having a terrible time. Um, and we are down one person. Um, let's prioritize feeding and then prioritize feeding and then Prioritize tending. And that will hopefully get things a little bit under control. Oh, I think we're saying... Yeah, we've been saying minimal medicine. That That's fine. We'll just, you know, rub the burns a little bit. And that's normal. Okay. So those, those are tended. Havoc heals relatively quickly. Although I think not from burns. I don't know. I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me. Um, okay, we have components we could buy, which is always good. And then otherwise, um, yes, let's just buy a Doomsday rocket launcher. That will solve all our problems. Um, no. Okay. Yeah, let's just buy some components. And then... Um, I guess this is the closer stuff. Uh, Edgar, are you? You're our miner, which is great. Um, you're just having a nice little chat, I guess. Then you're going to get onto this job. So we're going to, one thing we need to do, which was mentioned in the comments of the last video, is we do need to make a death rest casket. Um, which is not the best I don't what okay sure um, I guess are we not storing components here I guess let's allow components unless I'm allow medicine which we are allowing um, sure I'm gonna get things all piled up gonna feed the prisoner I guess um, and make some blocks why not <laughs> okay um, and we're gonna do some recreation how about we prioritize hauling some rice get some of that inside and then let's haul that component let's haul those components and then I think we do need to do a little rice harvesting here. Uh, we're not a plant cutter. And we're very terrible at it. However, um, people are going to starve if if we don't. Interesting that I think we should be able to like get up and at them pretty pretty quickly here. Um, yes, animal starvation. Our pig is way down yonder. Has. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to let that pig go away. Um, it is now fall. Things are going to cool down. Especially with uh, this forced weather condition. The rainy thunderstorm rains on. All right. The burns are almost completely gone. We should be sending... I guess you're not sleeping. You're, you're kind of just like chilling in bed. Um... So just get out of bed and uh, yeah, harvest the area. Why don't you? We have needs. Um, sure, equip a club for now and uh, kill the iguana. Excellent. Kill the dromedary. All right. 
I mean, that was a little, that was a little risky. I should have maybe used the sword for that one, but it's fine. Rescue. We're not going to rescue the dromedaries. Um, all right, Edgar. Uh, oh yeah, these are, okay, we're going to cook. Cook time. Yes, I know. They're in a very bad mood. Prisoner, we do want to recruit. Um, the prisoner is also in a moderately bad mood because there's no food. And I've let that kind of get away from me. But food is happening. Uh, and there we go. All right, everybody's going to have a little snack. And then um, it is probably time to build the casket. We have all sorts of components and steel, and we might even just start our death rest. Just say, you know what? It is about that time. Um, it's not co connected to power. Well, we could awkwardly store it up here for now. It's not a very prestigious room. It has power, uh, and it's fine. Okay. Um, we don't have a warden. And uh, our warden currently sucks, but... Um, why don't you work on those social skills a little bit, Edgar? Beautiful. Slightly, slightly affected that. Um, and, you know, because our only other colonist... Um, is is a non-combatant which is hilarious uh we need to get some get some work going here um edgar uh is too incompetent to actually build spike traps so i think what we need to do is prioritize building the walls here um also hilariously oh boy okay there's a s okay there's two cats uh, and we only have one trap <clears throat> so our literal only strategy is is to here um shoot unfortunately we used a club and then we started the death rest we, we, these, these animals aren't going to bleed out um we have a little bit of food Okay, that's not great. All right, you're just gonna stay inside for a moment. And that's all we can do. Luckily these cats are over here, so as long as we don't go out that way, we're mostly fine. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, that is not ideal. Um, no. I think it should, it's raining enough, no? Nespa? Alright, this. Um. Yeah, we are incapable of violence. Hilarious. I wish I could just, like. Can I actually carry the iguana? Drop the iguana. Um, and then maybe the iguana will. Um starve to death in this room and Havoc's bedroom and that is how we are going to manage hunting. This dromedary is going to get up the dromedary will be fine uh, the death rest we are actually doing totally fine with that as well um, the deserter a machinist uh, or I guess Reves Fokioari is calling from nearby he has deserted the army of the Red Imperium is being hunted by a loyalty squad. He wishes to join me at Gardener's Brook. Well, he knows the key location of an outpost, so we could go against the Empire. We kind of did start... I mean, our last playthrough, we did go with a little bit of Empire stuff, but I think this time we actually wanted to go like almost more into the Empire. But, yeah. I like the idea of like the Royal Vampire. I think that's a nice flavor, so I think we won't do that. Although I really could use 
someone who's an actual combatant, although I probably would get my butt kicked by a single trooper because I'm assuming they have armor and guns and I've yet to really see guns in action, but I, I, you know, this is the mod where that is a thing. So I suppose I should be wary. Um, I'm a little bit scared about these cats still. Okay, the guan whatever they're called, the trees. We could we could get those trees planted, um, get some combatants that way. Um, I don't love this little run you're doing, Edgar, but the cats seem to be completely ignoring you, so I think it was fine. Um, a group of travelers. Oh no. Are the travelers going to... Okay, well, the, the bugs here are never really going to do anything because I think that is totally fine. I could lure the cats down, maybe. Oh, these are just, like, literally passing by. They are not even worried about it. Okay. They're just going to hug the outside of, of the old camp there. Um, Edgar, why don't you prioritize instruction? Oh, good. Um, let's extinguish the fire. Let's... Okay. We need to get that power up. And really, realistically, Edgar, congratulations. You've been promoted to lead engineer. It's your job to build all the things. also your job to at this point grow and cut um yeah I mean you're not very good so hopefully this is not completely wasted okay 10 potatoes that's huge actually um <clears throat> All right. Okay, we botched that one. Okay. But maybe, just maybe, we can get... We got a little bit. Not not the worst. Okay, that's another two meals. We can, we can cook exactly two meals. And we're botching more. Not ideal. Um, yeah, we're, we're starving. So how about we prioritize cooking? Are we going to, okay. Yeah. We're going to do a hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sal. Um, mount extreme malnutrition. Lovely. Uh, what is, what is your problem? Extreme starvation. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We've really been taking care of our prisoner super well. Um, deliver the food. Um, take him to bed and feed him because otherwise he will die. Oh my goodness. That was close. Okay, Edgar's in a daze. At least you've eaten and you're going to bed. Well, we've survived. And we have our very own dromedary. Um, turns out, you just beat it into submission, leave it for dead in the middle of your food, and then uh, it will decide that it wants to be your friend. Um, pollution clearance, hey? Um, I don't want... I don't want um, toxic waste. No, thank you. So I will not accept. Um, our death rest is actually nearing an end. So that's going up rather quickly. Those can be some very stressful, stressful days. Um, if we got raided right now, I think we would we would just straight up be dead. Uh, we have absolutely no, no defenses. Um, Edgar cannot do much. Let let's be honest. Um, what is is it for for security 
Uh, construction needed three. So supposedly Edgar snaps out of their stupor. Um, we could build a number of traps, and this might be our <laughs> our salvation. <coughs> Should probably actually not build them <clears throat> out of slate if we want to have that cool black aesthetic. We might want to use, um, I mean, marble is really cool too, though. Um, that's really what we're working with on this map. Um, I guess we could make some out of steel. Uh, we could also just make um, wood dryads and just make a whole bunch of them out of wood. Um, that's usually a good strategy. Uh, Edgar is going to feed themselves while they're in their days. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> our prisoner is not going to get fed um, until... I mean, we could just wake Havoc up and like have him deliver the meal, but that seems like a poor choice. Um, Edgar really needs to, you know, just get over the all the bad things that are happening. Yes, I know. We lost a colonist. It's very sad. Um, yeah, you and you hate the light. So why wander around outside in the light so much? I know. Once once we actually fully develop this temple, um, that'll be a nice way for you to stay inside. Um, we'll, I mean, we should also be building like patios and things out here. Um, great. Dromedary is roaming away. Honestly, um... As soon as Edgar is out of the days, we, we're not in a, a state to be raising animals. Um, I, I don't know if you can slaughter, though, if you're incapable of violence. So this one might just wander away. Yeah, we have a medical emergency here. Not great, Cassandra. Um, and I don't know if I'll get control of Edgar again in order to save the prison. Oh, we did. Okay. Um, deliver the food to the torturer. Let's go. Deliver food. Uh, take to bed. And feed. Okay. We did it. Um, we are also not feeling great. Uh, not ideal at all. Okay, 85% on the death rest. Um, I, this dromedary is going to go for a real big wander. Um, we have some potatoes we can attempt to harvest. This freaking emus out here. Okay, those lightning bolts are a little too specific, Cassandra. Oh my goodness. Try again. Um, build. Okay, come on. There we go. Um... We need we need some potatoes. We need potatoes to happen. Um, rice is just going away. Okay, Edgar. Super exciting RimWorld gameplay here. It's riveting. We are watching Edgar just can't find the potatoes. Oh my goodness, we have 11 potatoes. I really want to get to 40 potatoes so I can just make a stack of four meals all at once and that'll you know get us going but i might just need to make a couple of meals for me and the prisoner so we don't starve but it is looking like one more oh havoc can wake from death rest beautiful um we will just let's get it going all the way because we don't need to feed him right now um by letting him stay in there and clearly this is something that we uh we are worried about okay haul all the potatoes just get them inside Mashed potatoes. Let's go. We also uh, have no very... like We, we suck at everything. Um, we're good at animals, although our animals keep wandering away, so even that is questionable. Um, but eat, eat your potatoes. Um, honestly, deliver food for the prisoner. The prisoner needs to eat. And then Havoc. Yes. Havoc, it is time. Uh, wake. Excellent. Eat your potatoes. And then you have so much to do. Okay. Recruit or work on lowering the resistance. This will go down only a little bit because the prisoner is not happy. Um, and then apparently we're constructing 
overgrowing, which is really not... Okay, so I see you have your priorities, Havoc. Clearly, um... Yes, we're not worried about food at all. Let's, let's in fact, just get all the wood. What a, what an excellent choice. Um, no problems at all with this particular course of action. Uh, we have, yes, mm -hmm. and we're on a tantrum. Beautiful. Um, and you're just going to smack our walls, just wreck the temple that you're in the midst of building. I see. I see how it goes. That's fine. Um, you were a little annoyed that I was chastising you. I, I get it. Um, you broke our only trap, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, now are we feeling better? Uh, we had, had a little snack. Okay. Beautiful. Um, nice. We have a shaman merchant, and you're just going to do a little, little recreation. You don't get any recreation for smashing all the stuff? No? All right. Well, we've almost completely rebuilt that. Which is fantastic. Um, we do need to focus on not this, but getting these potatoes going. There we go. All right, beautiful. We also have this wonderful catharsis that everyone has. Um, uh, oh, we could get a couple of pigs back. We could actually go for that. Um, great arrows. I see, I see. Nothing that we are particularly in need of. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just ignore them and keep harvesting. This will give us food for a little while. Um, we'll be definitely in the, in the zone um, in terms of sustenance for the next couple of days. And we should be able to easily, easily sustain our colony. Um, in terms of work, um, it really is a shame. We, we do need this prisoner who could also be a very terrible cook. <clears throat> um, Edgar do, does need to sort of get up and prioritize the stove a little bit. We do have some hay, which is nice. <clears throat> Make like a proper prison and a little barn maybe for all those animals we have. Put a little bit of hay flooring out there, which is nice. We have some smoke leaf we can use, which is very cool as well. Um, beautiful. Getting all this stuff stored up. All these meals done. Um, we have, we're badly malnourishing our prisoner. That is not, not the best. I'll deliver some, deliver some food to the prisoner before we go to rest. And I think we will end it here. We've slightly stabilized... Um, we did end up murdering the iguana with malnutrition by just locking it in Havoc's bedroom during the death rest. That was a hilarious moment. Um, oh man. We're definitely not watching because of the epic gameplay, let me tell you. But it's been really fun. Uh, and we're surviving, we're getting things back under control. Um, we need to build a spike trap back. We need to get a few more defenses and things going. And uh, hopefully we can recruit our third colonist. I guess technically our fourth colonist. Because we also need to get Pagans back. Um, and hopefully there will be an opportunity for that soon. Uh, but until then we do need to just like get our basics under control here. Get our food and all that situated. It looks like we do have quite a bit now. We have like, you know, all these potatoes. We need to get them some plant replanting happen though. Happening though. Um... And we still don't have any projectiles. Like we don't have any guns or bows or anything like that for uh, for better hunting. So that is also on the menu. We need to kill all these animals to get them out of our base, eating all our stuff. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.